Good early morning people of the interweb. Sun is just coming up right now, so I think it's about time to get the show on the road. The plan for today's flight is I'm gonna head down this valley, and at the end of the valley is a quarry, kind of in the side of a mountain. So I'm gonna fly down there and hopefully cut it up around the quarry. Yeah, I think it's time to go. The wind's moving just a little bit, so it's not like the most perfect morning ever but I think it should be smooth. It should be quality weather for some quarry diving. Uh, yeah, what do you say we send it? I gotta admit, I slightly misjudged my fuel situation. I figured I'd fill up the tank and go for like a huge cross country. But it turns out I only had about a gallon left, so that brought me to about five liters in my tank, which should be good safely for about an hour and a half. So I think I'll venture down this beautiful foggy valley. We'll check out that quarry, which hopefully it's not turbulent in the quarry, but we'll find out. So here's the scoop on my chase cam. So the stock setting was a little bit too long because it was getting in the prop wash. About three feet shorter than that, got it in my prop. Now I'm about three feet shorter than that. We'll see what happens. I think it might be a little bit too close, but what can you do? There's some nice fog going on down here. I'm surprised at the amount of turbulence going on right now. Might make our quarry experience a little more challenging. <laughs> that is so beautiful. It's like you're flying over a cloud, but really it's just the ground. Like, it's freaking gorgeous. Well, this is the part of the valley that I need to cut over the hill, and it's down this little, I don't wanna say canyon, but it's almost like a canyon. Right there. Well, here we are. The legendary quarry of dreams. Now, I've never flown here in the morning, the sun's always been on that side, shining right in here. So this should be interesting. Right now it feels nice and smooth. Hoping it stays that way as I get all up in there. I feel like one of those urban exploration videos. I see wind movement on those trees. It's not bad. Not bad yet. Well, that's pretty neat. How neat is that? <laughs> Freaking neat your video. Well, this is pretty insane. <laughs> Not many good places to land if I happen to have a motor out. I don't think they're open yet today. I would assume not. So this is that box canyon situation. Don't want to get myself caught up in here where I can't climb and I can't turn. Surrounded by freaking boulders.
Damn, it gets cold down there. I'm about halfway up, and it just got shockingly warm. See, if I could, I would come back here, cut a little notch, and run off of this, and then just float gracefully down to the bottom. All right, one last shot before I dip. Up here at the top, look how cool that is from this angle. <laughs> Dive that freaking cliff. That's so rad. All right, time check and fuel check as I climb out of this big old hole in the earth. It's 6.30, about an hour after sunrise. And the fuel situation, we're doing all right. Um, I probably have three to four liters left. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Ooh. I'm tired. I went to bed kind of late last night. Woke up super freaking early. I think a quick nap and some espresso might be called for when I get home. So I'm approaching this McDonald's. This is McDonald's right here, that tiny little building. And then there's an AMP that I think's closed down and this whole shopping center is not doing all that well. I'm just thinking though, like, I never really realized how easy and how much space there is over here. I could land at McDonald's. And it's not even congested at all out here. I mean, as long as the parking lot's empty, I could land in that field. The side here, the asphalt, the side there. It's very tempting, but I don't think I'm gonna do it today. I think I'm gonna save that one for another day. Oh, Jesus. But I would say that is 100% doable. Safe and legal. Checks both boxes. So I'm gonna have to add that to the list of things to do. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit sleepy. <laughs> That's the thing with flying and filming in the morning. I like flying in the morning because I can come up, just relax. And sometimes it's nearly like an extension of a dream, like you're still like not really on it but it's just fun to float around not really go crazy but at the same time I feel like morning videos lack energy not all videos have to be super Red Bull energized hype train funny story about this field I did a similar flight probably freaking two or three years ago saw dude and uh I was coming kind of from the direction of the quarry like I just did on the old Blackhawk and my Hydron and I got over this field and I had half power and nothing more and that was about enough to keep me level but I couldn't even milk it to get any higher so I circled this field for a little bit and I knew it didn't have any power lines on it so I just set it down right on the road pretty much right there lots of people complained to me when I posted it, that I didn't land in the field and I landed on the road. I'm like, well, I had the field as plan B, but I could see both ways on the road, nice and far. And I made one last check over my shoulder before I committed that there were no cars and a car couldn't possibly come out of nowhere and hit me. That reminds me, I've been thinking I'd like to start, like, not really a series, but a format of videos that just relate to safety and like lessons to be learned. There's been a couple experiences I think in the past month or so that don't really make the cut of videos but it's little things that could have gone wrong I guess that it was just like a warning sign of something that could go wrong and I feel like it would be good to discuss that type of thing and not necessarily in the format of going out and flying but I already have the footage 
I would just kind of sit in the shop like I do, set up the camera, set up the lights, and talk about what happened, what I take from it, and I think it would be a good way to just share uh, experiences in the hope that it would help other people avoid potential issues. The other thing is Facebook is a very large community for paramotor pilots and recently I've seen a lot of posts of people getting hurt or some fatalities unfortunately but I think there's certain safety issues in this sport that can be addressed and bringing it to this channel even though they're probably not going to be like videos that get a ton of views because they're not action-packed or anything but I think it would be kind of a good public service announcement type thing to talk about these incidents or accidents on Facebook in a video format. So maybe I'll start doing that, who knows. I love in the morning especially, it happens at night too, but when the grass is wet with dew and the sun's to your back and you cast a shadow, there's like this orb of light on your shadow. I say we drop into this field fly through the next couple fields and then I'll get some altitude and we will continue the adventure back to the park. I think I just stopped traffic with that last maneuver. There's cars over there. It probably thinks I just crashed. Uh, it smells like corn. What do they say? Knee high by the 4th of July? I think this might be a little bit higher than knee high. Maybe waist high. It's not too far off. All right. It's looking pretty beautiful over here. The sun's getting up high. And I think I should do the same. I think I should go up high, get over the park, kill my engine, float gracefully back to Mother Earth. I think that's about as high as I'm gonna get because I'm starting to shiver. Surprised how cold it is. Down low on the ground and up here. The middle ground is a little bit better, but man, it's cold. Motor's dead. I'm committed. I'm gonna do a 360 panorama. Some fog on the river there. The reservoir's looking pretty tight. Just barely see New York City out there. All the contrast out in that direction with all the buildings lighter colored buildings and the sun just blowing them up. I did that thing again where I was like, yeah, I'll get a whole bunch of altitude and I'll do a sat. Then I was like, no, I had the chase cam. And I'm scared to do sats with the chase cam. Seventy, two seventy, two seventy, two seventy. Every time I do wing overs or barrel rolls, I would say 90% of the time, I try to focus like on precision. You can do these maneuvers and get away with them relatively well, but I feel like every time I do it, it's practice and trying to improve, do things precisely. Got about two and a half liters left in the tank. Guess I could have gone a little bit longer, but it's definitely time to fill up my sweet gas can. So yeah, exploring the quarry. Super good morning flight. A little bit bumpy here and there, but all in all, good time. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're digging what I'm doing, you know, hit that like button, share that video on your 
Facebook, Twitter, your mom's Twitter. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out. Whoop.